Kitchen, you heard me? Yes, baby, yes. But before I get started, before we get started, let me bring y'all attention over here because I just got done cooking some Korean slash soul food rib tips for my baby Leah Love, y'all. Y'all go check out her page because that video will be dropping soon, <laughs> baby. Y'all see my lips popping. Ah, that's that little love, baby. Ow! Y'all, it's popping. It's trying to pop. Say, mwah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How y'all doing? How you but doing? right here, y'all, <laughs> it's my Korean style. It's gonna cool down. Korean style soul food riblets, y'all, okay? And they are that good. dog caramelization is that Korean flavor, baby. Y'all better check out Leah Love and get that recipe right there down pat. Boom! Also, with these stuff, Roses. I already got my side items going over here, y'all. I got me some jasmine rice to cook, dog, baby. Y'all see it, that jasmine rice? Uh-huh. Y'all see it. Back off over here. And then I got some collard greens mixed with some kale greens with that fat back in them, baby. Boom. Mm. Y'all know I already cooked greens and lima beans, so y'all need to check out all my videos so y'all know how to cook this here. Okay? But back here, them collards going, y'all see them. Collards and kale with that fat back in them. Ooh. Ooh, those Ooh. gonna be good. Y'all better know it. Y'all better know it. Okay. Rinse that off for me. That's gonna be fun. Over here, y'all. Mm. I got me some fresh lima beans with some fresh pigtails and neck bones in it, y'all. They still gotta cook down and thicken up, but I just had to show y'all what I'm eating today. Now all this pork, I gotta eat it and spell. So I'm gonna I'm taste some of my uh, <laughs> pork roast <laughs> stuff, but I'm gonna have to save my meat and eat beans for a little later. Cause I got a lot of pork going on, it's kinda hot. So y'all know y'all gotta stay out that sun, baby. Yeah, eat pork, but down sure south, yeah. this how we do. Mm -hmm. Now if you wanna put you some smoked turkey butt, smoked turkey neck, smoked whatever, or fresh, instead of using pork, you can. Or you ain't gotta put no meat at all, just make sure you season them up right. Uh-huh. But I'm gonna cover this up, y'all, and let's get into what we doing. Okay. Now, I'm gonna let uh, Chef Lily cook it in the hood explain what she gonna stuff her uh, pork roast with first. Okay, y'all. Well, I had, we had this big pork don't roast. Don't show them that yet. Oh. Tell them what you're stuffing it with. Well, okay then. Then we I got, I, I got, I'm gonna do mine with spinach, mm -hmm. green onion, bell pepper, Regular sweet onion, mushrooms, and cheese. So I got mantego cheese and I got blue cheese here. That's gonna go on my part of the road. Okay, now with me, y'all, what I'ma stuff mine with, I got me some onion and bell pepper, a Granny Smith apple, yes. So that's a Granny Smith green apple, some onion and bell peppers. I got me some chopped up bacon here. And also some diced up sweet potato. And last but not least, I got me some kale right here that I'm gonna stuff my pork rolls with, okay? So, now I'm gonna turn it back over to Chef Lily cause she's finna uh, get the meat part. Uh, she's gonna cut it in half, so she have a half, I have a half, and she's gonna butterfly that thing open so we can get the, so we can get this uh, show going, okay? Now, show Lily show. Now, 
We you probably have need butcher meat. strain when you roll and stuff any kind of meat. So we're gonna show you a compromise in case you can't find butcher strain, which was my secret. Plain old white shoe strain, y'all. Get you some out the store, cut the plastic tip off, and roll, and then discard when the end. Cause y'all know we make it do what it do. We baby. gonna compromise. Boom. Okay. So we, me and Tiffany went and got us two regular white, brand new shoe strains. So this is what we gonna use instead of butcher strain. I'm gonna sit right there for a minute. I already cleaned this roast. I already cleaned it and shaved most of the fat off that I want. But in the words of my grandma, would you take all that fat off my meat? I don't want no dry behind me. Bit my money. Play that, y'all. So I left some fat on it so the meat won't be so dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this roast in half. Bam in the middle. And she like got that. a sharp knife. Yeah, you gotta have a sharp knife to get it right. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this rose. Tiffany, get all that from behind me, girl. I'm trying to stir my beans. You heard And then we're gonna take this rose and we're gonna cut it up like this. But not all the way, because you gotta leave a cut, a sleeve in the, I mean, you know, in so your stuff on fire. You see it? So we left like that, so when we roll it, the stuff won't come out of the side. Get this one down a little bit more. Alright. There we go. Let me wash my hands, people. Hey y'all. My sister done caught open the uh, butterfly at these uh pork roast. Pork roast is open. So uh my bad. <laughs> so <laughs> excuse me. Some of them hey. So I'm gonna let her start stuffing hers. When she get done stuffing hers, then I'm gonna come back and stuff mine. Then we're gonna put them in the oven and go from there, y'all. And then, I, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm also gonna show, show y'all the homemade rack I made to put the roasts on top of when we put it in the oven. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna roll it that way. Okay, y'all. This is my, this is my, what I'm putting my pork roast here. Since my sister gonna let me go first. <laughs> So, like I said, I got spinach. Why you laughing like that? Green onions. I didn't even know you was in here. <laughs> <laughs> but let me wash my hands till I touch this so because I got to get my vegetables and I don't want cross contaminate. I don't have any gloves. Okay? So, but I do need to season my roast up first, y'all. So, I guess my sister got up here on this counter. I want to use some salt. I want to use some onion powder. And I want garlic. And I want pepper. Now my sister is all on this. I might use a little Creole. No, I That's that tone is better than tone. I, I'm a paprika bit, and she likes spicy stuff. I'm not too much of a spicy person. So I'm gonna take my inside of my pork roast. I'm gonna put me a little salt in there, a little onion powder, and remember, always season to your taste. And remember, you can always add salt. You can't take it away. Okay, give me some black pepper and some paprika. Okay, and then after I roll it, then I season my outside, y'all. So let me get this pack over here. I think I'm gonna make a little more black pepper. All right. So I'm gonna take my spinach and lay it down first. Just fresh spinach. So I mean, you could use frozen if you wanna, whatever you have on hand. But I'm gonna use fresh because that's what I had. I'm gonna put my spinach there. I got my spinach and partially mixed up, y'all. Okay. 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 All right. Then, I'm going to take my shiitake mushrooms that's in this bowl. I'm going to lay that on top of my spinach. I'm going to get it all on there. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my 
my cheese, I think. And then I'm gonna put my cheese on there. Remember I said I had Montego cheese and I got blue cheese. So we're gonna put our cheese up there. And then we got this blue cheese here. Okay. And then I'm gonna lay me two green onions. I left you two to lay on top of yours. I'm gonna put my two green onions on there like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna take this other side here. I'm gonna put it in. Might not be able to roll it all the way over, y'all. So, cause that's what the strain for. Just want to keep it intact once we um get it in the oven, so it won't come apart. Let's see. Wait a minute. Push this over a little bit more, y'all. Just a little bit more, so I can give it a roll. If all my stuff is stop coming out, I can get it. There we go. There we go. Well, she gonna slide that shoe strain under there and she gonna tie that in real tight for me. There you go. Boom. And then we gonna take the other side and she gonna tie that one for me. Make my cheese can. I think you need to push that in a little bit. I am, I am, I want you. I'm trying to get it in now, baby. stuff and coming out that ain't gonna hurt okay as long as you tie it go down a little to the end there you go oh tie that thing tight girl there we go okay all right now there go my rolls nice and tight tight to hold my stuff in there gonna season this outside of this roof like I said all right salt a fork you do have to season it well you do have to season it very well you can buy no bush to tie y'all so I told the sacrifice that you can make she's like oh yeah sis they like that hey sometimes it's easier I mean, you can find a compromise. Because it's always a problem, and it's always a solution to it. Okay. My little garlic. And my onion powder. And my paprika. So I'm trying to keep that hand I touched the meat with off the seasoning thing, and I don't want. Let to get all over there. Where's my cheese? Come on, man. All right. Okay. Now, I'm gonna splash a little soy sauce on mine. A little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna rub this seasoning in because when you love the meat, it loves you back. Mm -hmm. That part. I had a lot of stuff in their mind, didn't I? Okay. I'm washing my hands. Y'all, this is gonna be so good. So y'all make sure y'all try this. And then you can use whatever you want to put in your roast, but just make sure you assemble flavors together that goes together well. Don't just throw anything in there that don't go together. You're not gonna get what you want. So, and I'm gonna take some olive oil and spray my meat. Especially. Okay, thank you, babe. I need your, I'm gonna need your help. 
We're gonna, we gonna spray this meat with olive oil so we can get some brown crust on that fat there. Because I love my fat meat. Now, some people might. What did she do with that? Some people don't like fat meat, but I was raised with fat meat. So, my big mama loved her fat meat. Baby, there we go. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Oh, baby, baby. Yes, baby. We ain't good today, baby. Y'all see it. Let's see if we can get some more of that in there. And also, with these stuff, really, oh, one more thing, too, y'all. Let me bring it over here. Don't forget them Korean barbecue. The Korean barbecue ribbons. Yes, that's featured on Leah Love page, baby. Check out. The video should be up. Boom! Um, yeah, this is what we're doing. Maybe they eating. I throw my hair back off my shoulders. I don't need my hair getting in my food. But we're just going to crisp up this bacon, y'all. And also the reason why I chose to do the pork roast because it really it was just gonna be our greens, our lime beans, our rice, and the Korean uh, ribbons. But these stuffed pork chops, y'all ask me, the holidays are coming up. Give me something that I can cook to bring to the table. So these roast 
part roasts that we're stuffing, you can use them on any occasion, but they're really brought, I'm bringing it to you uh, to get the holiday started. So I'm gonna be bringing, um, excuse me y'all, I'm gonna be bringing holiday, different dishes for the holiday. I'm starting incorporating that now, so y'all can have all different types of dishes to try uh, for your holiday meals, okay? So again, this pork roast is really a dedication of a, a dish that you can cook um, on any Sunday or any holiday, y'all. That is why me and my sister are doing our own two versions of what we would like to stuff. I hope that y'all try Chef Lily's own and as well as mine because of what tip. Y'all also Korean style barbecue uh, ribs, any type of party, any type of function, you can still put them on the holiday table as well. So this is what we're bringing y'all today, baby. Yeah, baby, this is what we're doing. Ah, this cooking with tip, baby. Boom. Let me see, my bacon is trying to cook up. I gotta cook these up. Then that fat that renders out here is what I'ma saute my onion and bell peppers with, and my um sweet potatoes. And see, mine is pretty much like a meal in one. I mean, you got the kale greens, you got your sweet potatoes, you got your meat, which is the bacon and the pork. I'm even giving you something uh, sweet with it, which is that apple, baby. Now, what's that? Your apple pie, your sweet potato pie, your meat and your greens. Can't get no better than that. Can't get no better than that, y'all. Y'all better know it. Okay, y'all, so I done got my bacon cooked the way I want it. So I'm gonna take it out of here. Put it on this plate, cool down. And that fat grease is gonna stay in there cause that is what I'm gonna saute. Huh? So now that same grease that I rendered off the bacon. Still in there, y'all. Y'all see that? Off the bacon. Yeah. Put your onion in your bath pepper. Oh yeah. Along with the onion and your bell pepper, we're gonna add the sweet potato. And this is just one sweet potato that I took and diced up. This is a half bell pepper and a half of onion. I also preheated the oven to 375, y'all. I may not need all these sweet potatoes, but I'm gonna go ahead and And depending on how long your pork roast is, because as you can see, me and my sister, do we just shared one, okay? I'm just dropping them all in there and sauteing them. What I don't use, I don't use. Okay, y'all, also I got my Granny Smith apple that I done chopped up, diced up too. I put them in a little water to keep them from changing. So I'm gonna take the water off them. And because I'm bringing you a sweet and savory element, I'm um, going to season this up in this pan with some uh, different type of seasoning, y'all. Okay, y'all can check it out. I'm going to add my apples in here too, y'all. And that's just a half of green 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 apple that I put in there. And the reason why we're doing this is because they diced up and I don't want them crunchy. And you know, pork will cook fairly quick. So, and then I want to pair it 
with certain spices, okay? I'm gonna add some ground cinnamon. Again, season to your own taste, okay? A little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of salt. This will help all the flavors come out and pair together. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some brown sugar. So that cinnamon, brown sugar, salt and pepper, and cinnamon is what I put in here, y'all, okay? And you're just gonna put about a tablespoon of this brown sugar on there. Now I would, if I didn't use my bacon uh, fat, I would have put some pure butter in here to saute me, but I used the bacon fat. So that just made it more flavorful. And we building flavors with this, that's all we doing. One more time. Drop a little ginger. Dash of ginger and a dash of nutmeg. That's it. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. And you still wanna have a little texture on these. Because the cooking process is going to continue to cook when you stuff it and put that pork in that oven, okay? But we're going to get these flavors off together because you want, you're building flavors for that sweet and savory. I'm going to just put a dash more brown sugar in now. So about a, a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of brown sugar. Um, why you seasoning your pork? I was gonna fan it out so it's cool off. Okay, come on over here. So we saute these down, running them down good enough. Caramelize that sugar on there. The cinnamon, the ginger, the uh, nutmeg, salt and pepper. What else I put on here? Salt and pepper, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and brown sugar. So now we're gonna turn that off. Cause I got that where I want it to be. Y'all see that? Yay, it's baby. Turn that off. Okay, while she do that, I'm gonna fan this out so she can be able to stuff her pork bowl because it can't be hot. Okay. While she cooling that down for me, I'm going to start my process of stuffing because I got my kale. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff my um pork roast, okay? What I did, I took these off the stove. Y'all saw my sister fed it out in this pan. She put it in this metal pan and we put it in the freezer to cool it down and stop that cooking time so that we could put it in the roast without it, you know, spoiling your meat or nothing like the stuff like that. So, and as y'all can see, it's good and Cool. Okay, so we're gonna start off. I got this kale here. Mm -hmm. I don't broke down. Okay, we're just gonna break it down just like that. That's all you gotta do. Okay, but first we're gonna um put a seasoning in here. Okay, y'all know what I'm. Oh, um, what I really wanna put in here. I'm gonna just put a little. Actually, I'm going to season the outside of my meat because I already got my flavors, my my uh, spices in there. So, I'm going to just put a little salt and a little bit of pepper in the inside. The rest of my seasoning, let me throw that across my shoulder. Uh -oh. The rest of my seasoning will be on the outside. 
but we're gonna put a little salt in here, y'all. Season to your own taste, y'all know how it go. I don't wanna hear none of that foolishness, all right? Season to your own taste. Y'all know how I get down. Y'all know I'll be can. But I'm just putting a little salt and pepper in inside. You gotta season so. Okay. And I'll put a little onion powder. And garlic powder. I knew she could resist. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. I knew she could resist. Because I don't want one over powder. I'm looking right. for that sweet and savory right. salt. Right. You know. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to lay down my kale. Okay, on top of my cow will be my mixture. And I'm just patting mine down. Cause I'm gonna roll this thing, y'all, okay? Y'all got a meal in one with this here. Y'all gonna love this here. Make sure you just even it out. It's gonna be a good old sweet and savory pork, baby. You got them apples and sweet tastes. Yes, huh? doing the thing. Y'all want something for the holidays, y'all. Y'all better let me see y'all working with this here. And last but not least, we're going to add that bacon on top of there. Huh. Huh, man. Huh. There we go. Now that we stuffed this here, I got my string over there. Two shoe strings, y'all. We ain't going to look for no butcher, no butcher stuff. Mm -hmm. You got no shoe get strings. Get my strings over there. So, okay. I'm going to start rolling. And if it's coming out while you're rolling, it's okay. You got it stuck. But you can't be cuffing it in now while you're rolling it still. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? If it come out, it's packed. I can it in there. There you go. That's all you got to do. Get your butt. That's what you're telling. Get your butt in now. And they want to fall back out. This bed mash. I'm a little tired up, so you got to fall. But I'm going to stuff it right back in. So I'm going to help her. I got her sh shoe strain. No butcher's die. <laughs> right down there. Go down. Go Chef Lily done tied the ropes up. Got them all in the knots. I'm cutting the rest of this strain off. Shoe strain. Not butcher's strain. Not butcher's strain. Shoe strain. And to me, it's better anyway. Shoe. Sure. Well, it make it do what it does. Make sure you get the cloth ones, not the one with the plastic in it. And make sure you cut the little plastic tips tip off. off. Okay? So as y'all can see, I stuffed it. We done shrunk it up. Y'all see how that end look? That end look. So now I'm finna cut that water on this. So now, I'm finna take it and season it outside. With my garlic powder, my onion powder, my paprika, my tonic seasoning, my black pepper, um, and a little bit of salt, y'all. Let's get it cracking. So, as I'm adding this season, I'm going to be rolling it. Okay? Because you want top and bottom. Okay? Season to your own taste. I don't want to hear y'all mouth about my seasoning and stuff. Because y'all know what I tell you. The tone is, baby, the tone is, yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Little onion powder. And if your stuff fall out, just stuff it back in. Ain't no problem. Garlic powder. And then your paprika, y'all. Paprika should give it a good golden, golden uh, looking crust on here. Okay. And if you got it tied tight, you can pick it up and do what you like. Y'all see it? I make love to you, man. Make baby. love to you. Make love to something. It's good to you and good Ooh. for you. Y'all see that? And if you like that, kinky or something. Smack it up, flip it. Rub it down. Oh, no! I need a body bag. Uh. 
But you ain't love to this here, baby. Make love to it. Caress it. Rub it in. Get it right, y'all. You got to, baby. You got to. Ooh. Okay, now. Okay. Y'all see it. Okay. Beautiful. And my little stuff is falling under me. Stuff it right on back here. Okay. Open that, uh, cut that wall right on for me. Thank you. Put on that spray mine too again. So put your hand just spray together, please. All right. Now we're going to spray it down with your olive oil. Put it in the rack. Okay. So we got Chef Lily's and cooking with tips on, y'all. So we're gonna put this in the oven. We got the oven baking to, uh, and this is the Dutch oven that we're using, the coffee, y'all know. But um, we got the oven set at 375. We're gonna bake this for 45 minutes to an hour. Then we'll show y'all the outcome. Cause pork don't take that long to get cooked. Uh, so again, 45 minutes to an hour, I'm gonna check them, okay, y'all? The oven already been preheated to 375. Boom! Okay, y'all. We done with this um all stuff pork roast. Now we're finna show y'all what it be about, baby. It's been a long journey, but we baked it for how long? About an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, something like that. So it's done, y'all. So we finna take this lid off and show y'all what it is be about. Okay? Come on over here. Here, here it go. <laughs> Come on over here. Here it here it go. Ooh. Bam. Y'all see that? Um. Now that one. Is the uh, what you spinach put in the, the spinach and cheese one? That one over there is that more like a Thanksgiving meal? I'm gonna say mine is a Thanksgiving meal because I got the bacon, the kale, the sweet potato, and the apples in mine, right? Okay, y'all. So we're gonna get these out of here and slice it so y'all can see the opening of it. Now, see, y'all, I was gonna make a gravy from the vegetables that I use at the rack down there. A good healthy gravy, but we don't have time to do it today. But I promise the next time I will do it and show y'all how to do it. So I'm yours. And this one hits mine's on. Let me move this pot out of the way. I don't know that ain't hot no more. Well, get that part right there, put it on the table. Okay, so again, y'all, we got Chef Lili cooking in a hood style pork roast, and then you got cooking with the pork roast. Okay, so we're gonna slice off any. Well, first we gotta take the uh, shoe strings off, shoe and we strain, said shoe strings, so strain. we ain't got no butcher strings. We got shoe strings. Okay. Okay. I unleashed my beast. <laughs> I had a good old crustacean on it. Look at that. Woo! Child, it's gonna be good. And we also let this rest, okay? You gotta let it rest before you uh, cut it. All your juice is gonna run out, and then your meat gonna be dry. And then you're not gonna wanna eat it. So, and we're taking the strings off, y'all. Shoe strings. No butcher's twine. This is this is survival mode. We're gonna show you how to do stuff when you don't have access to the other stuff. And it turned out just as pretty as we you if we had used butcher string. Yep. Okay, now I'm gonna cut my roast so y'all can see the end result of it. I'm gonna just turn them out around. Y'all see them? Turn, yeah. Mm, look at that. Look at the cheese, y'all. All right, here we go. Go my stuffing and my piece of pork roast. Okay. That looks good. Smells good. Now we're gonna see how this tastes. See the cheese? Let me cut mine first. We're gonna do all that. Let me cut mine too. 
Come on over here, let me. She ready to dive in hers, y'all. No, I just want I'm going to cut mine, too. We're going step by step in this thing. Yes. Whoa. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, woo. Okay. Mm. Okay. Y'all see. Mine got the bacon, the sweet mm -hmm. potatoes, the kale. Mm -hmm. Is it moist? I'm let you know. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You want to try this though? I'm so full. I'm full though. We don't eat them lime beans and greens and stuff, y'all. Get what you want. Okay. Let me take that. Okay. Sure. I don't want the meat. I want some stuff. You want the stuff? Yeah. I'm so full, Lord. Them greens and y'all was great. Mm. Mm. That's good. So, y'all, we got a one on both of them. Pretty much. What I would taste you look for? This is both right here. This one got the cheese, spinach, the mushroom, and that one got the sweet, and all the kaboom. <laughs> so, <laughs> this man cooking with Tip, y'all. I'll holler till next time. Boom! Peace.